that are laser focused? Who are the people that have a strong desire? Because when people are clear in their why, they they stay on their game. They know where they're going. They they have a strong desire, very committed. And when they're clear in their why, when this business goes up and down, you can bring them back to that why. So if they're having a down day or a down time or you know, they missed a goal and we've got to reset it, they're there because they're on that, on that goal. They're very consistent. They have a positive attitude, self-confident, communicate with you on a regular basis. You want the people that are ringing your phone off the hook, that are calling you and saying, what do I do next? That are booking appointments with you. They're the people that are actually enrolling people. They're the people that bring the guests to the events. They're the people in your business that attend all of the trainings, not just when they feel like it, all of the calls, all of the events, and they really do see themselves as leaders right from the start. I was talking to uh, my uh, mentor and uh, partner uh, in this business and uh, my upline, uh, Double Diamond Robin Cohen, last night, and we were laughing because, you know, I took this on and so did she. We bought six boxes and she was the only one in Philadelphia. I was the only one in Coeur d'Alene. And so, you know, we became the leader right from the beginning. We saw ourselves as the leader and we had, no, we, we didn't know what we were doing. I was so confused by a binary plan and the structure and all that. But I'm like, okay, well, let's go. So those are the people that you're looking for. Identify who they are. And then what you want to do is you want to spend 80% 80, 80 of your time with these people. Um, I have no idea. I can, Bobby, I'm ready for the next one unless you've already put it up there. Um, uh, anyway, um, if what you want to do then is spend 80% uh, of your time with these people. They'll be about 20% of your organization. It might even be less than that. But these are the people that are taking all of the right action steps and to build a business. So many times people waste time on the ones we want it for when they want themselves. We're making the calls to them. Where are you? Why didn't you show up? Don't worry about that. And then the big thing is we have to lead by example. We have to teach people what to do. And I think in this business, once you've identified your leaders and you see the people stepping up and they want to move forward, you have to tell them the truth. You have to talk about, here's what you have to do. Here are the steps you have to take. You have to be frank with people. You have to be upfront. You have to do it with compassion, but you also have to guide them. And if they aren't strong in an area, be able to coach them to develop that, again, if they say they want to. Um, really, you're having helping them to develop a belief system um, in this industry, in this company of MXI, and ultimately themselves, that they can do what? Um, and that's and that really is key. And uh, the majority of the people are gonna that come from, at least in my organization, are not in this business. They're not networkers. So my job in to developing these leaders and helping them is to really build that belief in this industry. They may have it in all other levels. But really knowing that this company is for the long term, and we're so blessed uh, to be involved with MXI and have a product like Shosai. So the reason that you're helping to do that is, again, this is a relationship business. So you must get to know your leaders and let them get to know you. And the reason being, again, is you're building a trust relationship. You need to trust them. They need to trust you. You're wanting to inspire confidence in themselves, in the industry, and you're wanting to inspire um, confidence about you and them. So if you're out there doing all the different things, which is going to come in, in my next slide, I'm not ready for it yet, but you are leading by example. And you, as a leader yourself, need to be dependable. They need to know that show up, you say you're going to show up. But then you also want to have fun. You want to... Um, you want to be able to have lots of social events, lots of recognition, lots of re rewards. Even just a note to somebody saying great job helps to build really that relationship with people. And I actually think I might have missed a slide. Bobby, is it the next one or I might need you to go back on one? Or I'm frozen and I have no idea where we are. Did you skip the one about, um, let's see, Bobby, did, do we have the one that uh, talks about travel and what you need to do? Okay, so, well, here's one of the things that you want to do is you're building and teaching people. And once you, you've established this relationship and you're really working with your team, then you're there for um, all of the things. For, you're, you're showing right away. You're doing the chocolate tastings. You're doing one-on-one -on -one presentations with them, as we all know. You're there for all of their three-way calls. And if you are local, you can do all those things. And then if you're long distance, 
and the majority of my organization is long distance, then you have to be willing to be on top of the three-way calls. You need to know how to use Skype, and you can develop so much in a relation to Skype. But if you're going to sponsor long distance, you have to be prepared at some point to travel. Um, and that's not as easy for some people. It's been, it's, um, I am a relationship one-on-one, -on -one, person to person, and I like to get on a plane. I like to go and be where, uh, where the people are that, that I'm building this relationship with and, and really building a leadership. And not everybody can do that, and at least not in the beginning. Sometimes people can either do it financially, or you've got kids and soccer and school, and you can't be um, as flexible as I've always been able to be. But the, one of the keys is, if you can, is getting there. It's, it's, the, when, it's when you're able to wake up in the morning and have a cup of coffee with people. It's when you're able to meet their kids. It's when you're able to hang out with their spouse. It's when you can be there and uh, almost move in with them. And I know, you know, Kim Shepard has done that with her Texas team. I know I spent for the first uh, year and a half, and I'm going to talk about her in just a little bit, um, with the Rita Schott and her San Diego team. And I know so many of the ways uh, today um, that uh, we have such a great relationship is because we could wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and I could sit there in her kitchen with her husband, no makeup on and, you know, a ponytail on top of my head, um, being real. And, and that is what will really get you um, uh, a long ways in this business. And then the last thing on that is take a look at, at your leaders then and you be the one to set the advancement goals. When people are new in this business and we're learning this compensation plan and they're le learning what to do, you need to be setting the goals and saying, are you ready? In their back office and, and sometimes people don't see what we see that we see the volume we see what's possible we know the compensation plan so if we say hey you can do this in the next two weeks or do you see where your volume is this week or do you see because of all the the ETEs coming in you have so much so set the goal for them ask if they're ready and then you identify the strategy count the boxes show them the things they cannot see that by taking away everything that's come in here's all that we have left to do it might only be on a thursday we just need you know six more business builders you and your entire team but when people are new and developing in this business they don't see that so you have to be the one leading the charge and when you're doing all of this and building those relationships when you're going where the heat is and when you're developing these strategies and creating these relationships what it does in is it keeps you in the game because it, when everything is going great, it's wonderful. And then a lot of things happen in this business. And when I call it the, and there we go, it's the meltdown. And so yeah, we have all had it, right? Everything's going along good and all of a sudden someone quits. Or everything's going along good and volume's even, and then all of a sudden one side, you know, becomes weak. And all of a sudden, you know, or, or lesser than, and you're trying to rebuild it. Or, you know, life gets in the way. Or someone gets in and someone's counting on them to be their bro to get to gold and all of a sudden they disappear and they decide to quit the business. It's in those down days when we have to pick people back up. And as Paula Pritchard always says, this is called emotional leveling. It's until people are strong enough in this business to stay even through the ups and the downs, like in any business, we have to be the ones that are there that have a mutual trust and respect with them and that so that we can have them stay the course in this business. And um, I know there were many times over the past two and a half years um, when uh, someone near and dear to my heart that just went diamond last week, um, sitting in her kitchen and, and or picking up the phone call and her going, Rashawn, I just don't think I can do this business. I don't know if, I can, if I'm not making the kind of money I need to make right now. My husband's business is upside down. Someone quit. I don't know if I can do this. And when you have that trust and when you're digging deep and you're finding these people and you can then bring them back up through those down times to have them persevere, have characteristics, they have the why and they have the strong vision, then by your mentorship and you're leading them, they can stay in the game and then they take off and flourish. And that is my newest diamond, who has built four golds in her business since December. Uh, I think a half a dozen silvers, several bronzes, and uh, has a dynamic team of um, a platinum of Marianne Carlin. But to that's Rita Schuck, and I just had to, to um, mention her because we've uh, she's um, she's just a testament to be able to what happens when you can build deep. And I don't have to worry about her or anything.
thing she and her team does because they're so amazing and so independent. And I know for me, without uh, Paula Pritchard and Kathy Robbins coming out here several times a year, my first couple of years, and being with me every time I picked up the phone and wanting to learn this business, I wouldn't be where I am. And then with the partnership of Robin Cohen, when you find the right people, stick with them. Don't waste your time on the people that aren't here and don't want this business as much as you do. When you find them, hook on to them like glue. Be their guide, be their mentor, be their leader, lead by example, and you will have a business that creates long-term passive income with leadership that is backed leader after leader after leader. So one of the uh, quotes that I want to end, and I realized I mistyped it, but uh, one of the things I read recently is it says, you can work miracles by having faith in others, by choosing to think and believe the best about people you were able to bring about the best in them. So thanks for your time, and thanks you, Aunt, talk today.